Hey, it's Jan for Different Skill, bringing you my Seeker deck profile. So, um, uh, this is not complete, of course. This is without um, set 16, as you could probably tell. So, this is what I have, and this is what I'm playing with before Sing Saviors come out. After Sing Saviors come out, clearly and obviously, I'm going to be using Sing Saviors. Um, aside from that, this deck is still pretty powerful, even though it's pretty much incomplete. But um, it's just missing that little something, which I'm pretty sure the Sing Saviors will be bringing to the table when I get them. So, let's start off with four uh, Sacred Seeker Wingull. So, Sacred Seeker Wingull is the trial deck um, Legion, and it is quite strong indeed. So, its ability is um, Seek Mate, or whatever they call it, Legion Call, whatever. Um, so, you return four cards from your drop zone back to your deck. And you search your deck for your Legion mate, in this case it is Blaster Blade Seeker, which is here. Hope you guys can see that. And um, after you perform Legion, you can search your deck for a grade 2 or lower Seeker and put it into your rear guard circle. Now, that's all the abilities has, and the second, well, I guess when it attacks your opponent's Vanguard against 2k, so that's not bad. Um, especially because when you attack with it after you Legion, it's 22 by itself, and then you can boost it with. A bunch of other things and hit some silly numbers. So uh, this card is quite quite good. I mean, um, the reason why I think this card is so good is because it doesn't cost counterblast. Similar, so by not costing counterblast, you can combo it with Sing Savior because Sing Savior just eats counterblast. So Sing Savior's effect is um, you can soul blast three counterblast two. If this unit is in Legion, you may search your deck on um, discard two cards. If this card is in Legion, at the end of attack step, you may search your deck for a Sing Savior Dragon and ride it, and then perform Legion from your soul. So you Soul Blast 3, you take um, a Blaster Blade Seeker from your soul, and you ride it, and then after you, and then it's not once per turn, so after you do that, you can attack again, and then do it again, and you can have like triple attacking vanguards, which is really fun. So, uh, quite good. Not much to say. It's it's probably a very it's a very strong trial deck card, so. Uh two seeker um Brutus. Brutus is pretty bad, but it's like it, it's very situational. So Brutus's effect is that um when you perform well first of all, send four cards back to your deck, perform Legion with this guy, and then um his effect is that when when you uh attack with it if it is in Legion, you may counterboss one, add 3,000 to four units in your front row. Basically means him, his Legion mate, and two other guys, which isn't really that good. I'll explain why later. And his second ability is that when you ride, call him to the Vanguard Circle, or ride him, uh, then you can search your deck for this guy and call it to your Rear Guard Circle. So the reason why this card is not very good is because if you don't have one of these, or a 12k attacker, which is him, on your field already, then his effect is really useless. Like your boosters are all 7k, so you have a 7k booster. Say you boost an 11k, then you get the 3k, then that's good. But you don't want to be calling your vanguards to your rear guard circles if you're playing a lot of legions because you're gonna to want to use the legion effects over and over again. Well, mainly for this card, maybe not for Brutus, but um, yeah. So your great twos, you have to have these out already, and it's not like it's not always amazing. So. But it's not a horrible card. I mean, I can see like you riding this later, late in the game, and then you just call your legion mate, and then you just attack with stuff and you kill them. So that's pretty good. Um, one king of knights, Alfred, mainly because uh, this deck is really cheap on counterblast. So having an inefficient card with using counterblast, like counterblast three, search for a card and play it, then it's it's not amazing but uh, it's not horrible so there's that I mean if you want you can play a break ride but to be honest if you're trying to invest in this deck before Sync Saviors come out it's probably not a good idea for Blaster Blade Seeker um, since both Sync Savior and Wing uh, Sacred Seeker Wingull both use Blaster Blade as its as its uh, Legion mate then you definitely need to run for aside from the fact that it's a Legion mate its effect is also really powerful Counterblast 1, when this card is placed in the rear guard circle, you may retire 1, 2, or higher rear guard. So, um, 
Yeah, it's basically the first version of Blaster Blade, except it only costs one counter blast and only happens in the rear guard zone. So, very good. Very good. Very good. For Seldrick, which is the um, 12k attacker, when you have a Seeker Vanguard, one of them is foil because I got the Hajimeyo set. Um, I mean, 12k attackers are pretty generic and everything. They're just good, especially with how many cross break rides there are now. Uh, cross riding 8th, 11th, 13k vanguards are always like present, so it's always nice to have. Brutus's Legion Mate, I don't remember what his name is, but uh, it's it's okay. When when this card attacks your opponent's vanguard, if your vanguard has performed Legion this turn, then it gains um, 4,000 when it attacks. So if you combo with Brutus, it gains 7,000, which makes it 16 by itself, and then you boost it with a 7k, goes to 23, and that's good. Like that hits cross rides for good amounts. But if you do it with this guy, you don't get as much because you only get 3k, so you only get um, 3k plus 3k is 16, you get 15, and you plus 7, you get 22. So, um, I mean, if you're planning on playing a lot of cross ride decks, then this card is probably pretty decent because you can use it with Brutus. Brutus gives it to himself and his Legion mate, so he attacks with 26 by itself, boosting with the 10k booster, it's a 36 or something crazy. And then, um, your front row, if you have two of these guys, or like one of these, and one of these in an 8k booster for whatever reason, then you swing for like 23, 23, 23, and then um, people die, so that, that's a thing. And uh, one of Seek the Seeker Crossbow, cr Crossbow Seeker, whatever his name is, um, I only have one, because you only get one, so. It's okay, I mean, it's really good in this deck, if you were to just play uh, Wing All Seeker, then definitely play four of this. You get so much extra cards from it, and um, it's definitely a very strong card. But after um, Sing Savior comes out, I'm not gonna be playing anything really that costs Counter Blast, um, except for this. But it doesn't really count because it's mainly gonna be my Legion mate because I want to save all my Counter Blast for Sing Savior Dragon. So I have 12 Grade Twos in this. I don't know why I have so many Grade Twos, but I mean it's working out fine, and I'm not getting Grade stuck, so whatever. For Seeker 10k Attacker, um, I should remember his name, but I forget. Uh, I can't read Japanese, so. <laughs> and if people are probably wondering, then why do you play Japanese? It's because I like playing with the new cards. And I don't like and English cards are flimsy. So, 10k Attackers are good. Not sad. 2k, uh, this is just a cute thing because it's another 10k Attacker. Uh, because when you Legion. Blaster Blade is in your Vanguard Circle, so this does count towards that. Although it's probably not good to have because, I mean, it's not actually a good card in this deck. So, uh, two of this guy. He's uh, when you counter boss one, you can add one K to it. It's not bad. Like you get a lot of mileage out of this in this deck because of how um, little counter boss you use. So sometimes you just go counter boss two, put it with this guy, and then you got like twenty K, like counter boss three even. Have us two for this guy, and then you hit like some decent numbers, but whatever, it's pretty bad. Uh, two, I forget what this is called. I think it's like a rune, rune something eagle. It's basically when your vanguard is in legion, if it boosts it, then um, it gains 3k, uh, 4k. So it's a 10k booster for legions. One, Glingal. Glingal Seeker is actually really good. So when this card boosts Blaster Blade and attack hits, you may send one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck, draw a card, and unflip one damage. So this is good, especially when you have this kind of thing going on. And then um, you just attack with this, and especially if they're cross-rided. If they're cross-rided, you put this down behind here. This hits for 28, which is more than enough, because if they're not playing cross ride deck, then you normally get this. You go for 32. But if they are, you go for this and go for the 28, and you get to unflip damage of it hits. So, quite good. Um, would I play more than one? Probably not, because not only do I only have one, the other reason is that um, you... Well, actually, maybe. Like, I probably wouldn't, because most of the time you probably want this anyways, because not everyone's playing a cross ride deck. But, I mean, hey, if you want to play more of these, you can. Um, if you're going to spend counter blast early with this, and then try to unflip it with this, and that's cool too. Three perfect guard, I definitely do need four, but I don't have four. So I'm gonna get some quintet walls as well to help feed legion costs, because with six legion vanguards, you probably need more things to 
mail out your deck anyways. So there's that. Oh, why did I shuffle scoop up all my cards? I didn't scoop. Starving Vanguard is Wing All Brave. Um, mainly because there's no Seeker Vanguard out yet. And this is decent because if you, if you once again, if you Legion with Wing All Seeker, you have a Blaster, so you can attack with it, Soul Charge, and then search your deck for another Blaster with a Seeker, play it, kill something, intercept with it, Seek Mate with a new one, send it back to your deck, and then everything's good. The rest is pretty simple. For the, the usual 4 heal, 4, four draw, 8 crit. So it works out pretty well. Um, this deck, when you play with Legions, it's really different because you are inclined to guard early. Like if you open a hand where you have like three triggers and a one, two, and three, that's actually a pretty good hand because you just guard early. You just like when they get to level three or grade three and you're at grade two, then you just go like okay, fifteen two to pass, and then they don't get it. And then you draw, you ride, you legion it back, and then you trigger more triggers. So um, of course if you still need to get the triggers. Aside from that, um, that's the only real downside. It doesn't magically put triggers on top of your deck. But it does increase your chances of getting them. And then sometimes if you have multiple heals, you want to take more damage, you take more damage early, legion your heals back, and then you trigger the heals, then you guard with them again, and then you legion them back. So it's a way to re recycle your heals, which is pretty broken. And aside from that, yeah, that's my deck. And I'll be making a profile when I finish it with Sing Saber. So I'll see you guys later.